This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this neon text effect using Affinity Designer. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here and open up a new document. I'm going to click Create, and the first thing I'm going to do is generate some text on the canvas. So I'm going to grab the text tool over here. We're looking for the artistic text tool, not the frame text tool. Grab the artistic text tool, click on the canvas right there, and I'm just going to write neon for the sake of this tutorial. Let me select all of that by pressing Control A, and I want to change the font to learning curve. Now this font in particular works really well for neon text because it kind of looks like a neon sign based on its design. Uh, I'll have a link in the description of the video to where you can go ahead and download and install that font. And the good thing about Affinity Designer is you don't have to close out of the application um, and restart it in order to use the font. It should the, the font library should update automatically while you have it open. So let me take this, make this a little bigger, and I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to give this a color uh, maybe like a pinkish shade like that, something like that. I want to move this towards the bottom and I want to create three more copies of this. So I'm going to hold Alt on the keyboard. I'm going to click and drag and then hold Shift to lock it onto the vertical axis like that. And I'm going to make this one slightly lighter, maybe something like that right there. And I'll do that again. Hold Alt, click and drag to create a duplicate copy and make this one even lighter. And then finally, we'll make one more copy. Hold Alt, click and drag and I'm going to make this one white, which should make it disappear against your canvas. So let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hold control and roll down the mouse wheel a couple of times. I want to make this text bigger relative to the canvas here. So let me click and drag over all four of the text items and then just click and drag to scale it. And I'm going to hold control and shift to lock the proportions and scale it from the center like that. What I'm paying attention to is this bottom text right here, looking, looking at how it sizes up relative to the canvas. That right there is a pretty good size. You could just eyeball it. You don't need to use any specific measurements. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and click it, click off of it to deselect everything. And I'm going to start applying an offset to each of these three color variations right here. So let me zoom in a little bit. Again, to, to zoom, I'm holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel. I'm going to click on this text item right here. And I'm looking for the contour tool, which is right here. Where you can press O on your keyboard. And in the contour tool, the settings I want are round. Uh, contour cap, I want that round as well. And then once you've done that, I'm going to take this little handle right here, this little round node, and just click and drag that to the right. And if you notice, it applies an offset around the text like that. I'm just looking to give this a slight offset like that. Something like that looks pretty good. Whatever size you make your offset, just make sure to take note. Make a mental note of what size this is of the radius right here. 7.3 pixels. So the next one we're going to apply down here, we're going to use an offset as well, but it's going to be slightly bigger than 7.3. I'm going to go a little bit. Maybe I'll go with 12 for this one. And then finally, this one down here will be the biggest. So I'm going to make this even bigger. This is going to be even bigger than 12. Maybe 21 like that. Perfect. All right, so now let me zoom out. Let me grab the select tool. Let me take all four of these text items and center them up on the vertical and horizontal axis like that. And then I want to go back to the, the contour tool and I want to click on bake appearance. And once you've done that, let's grab this select tool. Let's move this towards the center of the canvas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click off of it to deselect everything. And if you notice over here in your layers menu, you should see these four different text items each on their own layer. I want to select the bottom one first and I want to come over here to effects. I want to enable Gaussian blur. And I want to give this a pretty big Gaussian blur like that. Now again, make a mental note of the numerical value here. I'm using 32.7 for this one. The next one down, I want to use a slightly smaller value. So let me come over here to the layers menu. Let me click on the next text up, grab the effects, apply a Gaussian blur. And this one's going to be slightly smaller, maybe like 20, something like that. And then finally, we'll take this one right here, go back to effects, Gaussian blur. And this one will be even smaller than 20, maybe Maybe something like that right there. Okay, now what we have to do now is I'm going to create a background for this neon text here because that's going to be what really brings it to life. So let me click off of this to deselect everything. Let me grab the rectangle tool. I'm just going to click and drag to create a rectangle like that. And I want to make this the same size of my canvas, which is 1280 by 720. And you could do that down here in the transform menu. The W and the, and the H stands for width and height. There we go. Now let me grab this select tool and center that up on the canvas. Let me go back to the layers menu. I want to take this rectangle and lower it to the bottom of the order here, the very bottom like that. And let's make this black. And let's come over here to the uh, fill tool 
And where it says type, I'm going to choose radial. We want to give this a radial gradient like that. Now let me take this handle right here and, and make that black. And I'll take this center handle right here and I will make this uh, maybe something like, like a dark shade of pink, similar to the color I used for the text. Let me make this a little darker like that. Okay, looking pretty good. Now what we have to do, grab this select tool. I just wanna put a little bit of a shadow in here, like this neon sign is casting a shadow. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. I'm gonna take this item right here and I'm gonna hold Alt and click and drag to create a duplicate. And I'm gonna put this duplicate copy right about here, maybe right about there, down and to the right a little bit. And I'm gonna make this black and I'm gonna layer this beneath. I'm gonna make this the second layer down. So I'm gonna click and drag this. I'm gonna click and drag this to, until it goes down here like that. And maybe I'll move that over a little more. I can use, at this point you could use the arrow keys to move it as you'd like. Something like that right there looks pretty good. I'm going to take the opacity of this over here and bring this down. Now if you notice right here we have these breaking points between these letters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to where it says layer. I'm going to click on ungroup all and then I'll come back over to layer and go to geometry and select add and that's going to unify it all together as one object. And then I'll just take that and move that over a little more. There we go, that's looking good. Press escape on your keyboard to deselect everything and zoom out. And as you can see, we're finished. We have created our neon text using Affinity Designer. So that's how you can go about doing that. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.